Hey there everybody, welcome back to Larkshire. We just found our bottle on the beach. We've been out wandering around for a few minutes. We're gonna find out what's in here. And then we have a campsite to build and a couple other things that we wanna do today too. A windflower fan, nice. Might make one of those too. All right, let's get busy. We haven't decided where the campsite is going yet, but first I guess we, we better find out what we need to build it. So let's take a look at that. Campsite, we need 15 each. Wood, softwood, hardwood, and iron nuggets. Okay, I think we've got that. I see our glowing spot over here, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. We've got quite a few bells in our pocket. Oh, you know what? <laughs> we already had 10,000 bells bells pulled out probably picked it up somewhere and it didn't fit in our pockets all right we're gonna take this money tree and i think i may have thrown us off a little bit more over here because oh there's some iron. Let's grab that. Let's see here. We need some more iron and we need all the kinds of wood. Hopefully there's 15 of each. If not, we might have to do some chopping. Ooh, we don't have enough hardwood. Yep. Chopping wood time. But yeah, as I was saying, I think I may have... So our stunting that tree did work yesterday and I moved that one down here where the other one gave us some money today and there's Mabel. We're going to check in with her too. So get some money from this one and chop it down and we'll put the one that we have. But I think I should have actually let the one from yesterday grow a little bit um, so that it was a day ahead because now we have two at the same, <laughs> at the same level again. We'll get this figured out eventually. Let's see, where'd it go? There. And we'll probably go ahead and deposit some bells in the bank and maybe, oh, you know what, while we're thinking about it, because I never showed you guys in the last one. I was gonna say maybe we can expand our room again, but I didn't even show you the first expansion. <laughs> here it is, a little bit bigger. We haven't put much in here yet, but we do have a bunch of furniture sitting up on that front beach. We're gonna figure out something here pretty soon. There's just always so much else to keep us busy. The inside of the house kind of gets last, uh, last consideration. But we do want to have a nice little spot to come back to at night. So we'll see how much we have in the bank once we deposit this. And I said the room gets bigger, but I think maybe Maybe this one is adding a room on the back. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm getting confused between the different versions of Animal Crossing now. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? So I learned something from watching Mom's Animal Crossing, this last video, which you should totally check out. She started a new island at the beginning of the year too. Her island is called Harmony and her videos are awesome. But yes, so I thought that you had to buy a certain amount of clothing, like spend a certain amount with Mabel before she came to your island. But no, evidently you just have to buy from her twice and then the third time she will talk to you about opening the shop, which is what we're doing now. And uh, Mom's Animal Crossing had lots of good information like that about all the stuff that you need to do to do all the stuff at the beginning of the game. So I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny. <laughs> okay, he did not say it like that. All that must be done then is to select an appropriate location, yes? <laughs> oh ho, and the perfect individual to help you find that location would be Carolee, yes? So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh geez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. 
Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Carolee? Can you be our location scout? Sure thing. Seriously? Oh, you're a total lifesaver. All right then, let me give you this Taylor's construction kit. All right, thank you, Mabel. We'll have to think about where we want to put that. We gotta think about where we want to put the uh, campsite too. But in the meantime, what are you selling today, ma'am? We need something new. <laughs> okay, I do like the trench coat. We're definitely getting that. <gasps> and the boots. Yes, we want those. Probably the leggings too. Okay, thank you, Mabel. Let's put these boots on. Because I love these boots. I don't know. Maybe they don't quite go with her outfit as well as the other. Oh well, we're gonna wear them anyway. I mean, look at us. We're wearing a purple hat and an orange sweater, so what does that tell you about our sense of style? We, I mean, you know, it's the beginning of the game. We don't have much to work with. We're just winging it here. <laughs> it would be nice to get another hat. All right, we're gonna put our boots away. We're gonna put these leggings away. Anything else we need to put away? What's this hat over here? Oh yeah, a ribbon. We just got that from a balloon. So we'll put that away too. Okay, and then we need to chop some wood, which means we need to shake some trees. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. I just saw a balloon heading back here. I'm going to hurry up and run over and <laughs> try to catch it. It was a yellow one, so we definitely want it. Let's see if we can get there in time. I think it was headed up over the cliff here. Ooh, give us a snowflake. Way more fun than it sounds. Okay. Where'd that balloon go? I hear it. Where are you? Is it over here? There it is. I'm gonna get a little further forward here. There we go. And gotcha. Oh no, our pockets are full. <laughs> swap it. Oh, okay. We'll, um, well, we better not swap it with that. We'll swap it with this. And then we'll put this money together in our pocket find out what this was. A barbecue. Cool, we didn't have one of those yet. All right, back to shaking trees. Okay, we're back. We've got enough of the hardwood. We just popped another balloon. A cooler box, also cool. We're going to <laughs> uh, drop those down here with the rest of everything for the time being. Just because not quite ready to start the decorating yet. Let's go put this money in the bank and see where we're at with that. Uh, days like today, it feels like we're moving kind of fast on the island. It's just that there's a lot that happens at once sometimes. And we're just trying to keep up. <laughs> so Abel's, the campsite, paying off our house, all at the same time. Uh, let's see. We want to deposit. Leaves us a little pocket change. All right, now loan payment. We definitely have enough to pay it off. So I guess we should. Let's just do it. Is this going to get us the little room on the back? I can't remember. Oh, I guess we talked to Tom Nook in a minute anyway. Yeah, full amount. Full amount. Paid off. And then Tom Nook will tell us <laughs> what we get next and how much we're going to owe him. Proud owner of a luxuriously sized paid in full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. What could be better? What indeed, Tom Nook. I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. So you'd like to talk about your home? 
Oh, something I should tell you first. Oh, we can also move our home. Okay. Yeah, we're not ready to do that yet, Tom Nook. We want to expand. I think adding a new room would be nice. Okay. If we add it on the back, it won't change the look of the home, but you'll get so much more space. Let's do it. 348,000 bells. Okay, so it'll be a little while before we pay off that next one then. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So exciting! Alright, anything new in the recycle bin? Just some more communicator parts. Let's see here. Um, oh, we need to build a thing. Let's go to the building place. <laughs> We're gonna build a campsite, and then we gotta pick some locations. My goodness. One would think I would have thought about this ahead of time, but no. No, I have not. <laughs> Craft it. One thing I've been thinking about is where we might want to put the orchard. And my two ideas for that are to put it over in this section, kind of around this little pond. Like in this part of the world. If we want a nice, big, expansive orchard. And then the other thing I was thinking... Is putting it over here. Oh, Mary, hello. Hi there! Let's talk. Cloudy days are wild! It's like someone built a blanket fort over the whole world. That's cool. <laughs> That's a fun way to look at it. Uh, let's chat. We can't give her any gifts yet. Winter fact one. Winter air is all dry because the moisture totes froze up. Winter fact two. I made fact one up. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks for that, Mary. Um, <laughs> if we feel... Like, we're not any smarter than we were. Okay. Um, yeah. So the other option for the orchard, maybe. I was thinking kind of right behind the resident services here in this little area. Maybe a little more of a compact orchard. So I'm not decided on that yet. Let's talk to Lucky. Oh, we meet again. You know how the outdoor bugs go missing during the winter? I don't have that problem. The bugs in my floors hang out all year long. <laughs> that, you know what? Good for you, buddy. <laughs> Good for you. Did I already give him his gift today? And I forgot to include you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, what's up, Deuce? I've got something for you. A portable radio. Cool. I've got a worn out one at home. It's pretty cool. This one's yours if you want it. I think it's mine even if I don't want it. Here, we have something for you, too. It's a giant clam. Take a boa parka. Nice. We will take that. Thank you very much. We're just going to set it over here by your house next to the other track jacket that you gave us. So that we know. Oh. I don't want to overlap them. Can I not? Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put, uh, pull this over a little bit. I don't want them overlapping. Okay, there we go. And and it's gray. That's nice. I kind of like that. Like a good wintry color. We can blend in with the snow. All right, let's sell a few things just to get the pocket space back, and then we'll scout out some locations. Okay. Let's grab these nook miles. Oh, we should take our picture. What is this? So clumps of weeds. Fossils assessed. We can probably do some of those too. But um, we'll worry about that later. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to go in there. <laughs> we need to look at our map. We gotta find a spot for Abel's and a spot for a campsite. Where in the world? Okay. <laughs> I stared at that for a little while, actually. I know it was short for you. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking and thinking. Why is this such a hard decision? Where do you guys usually put your campsite? I'm, I want to go look at, at this back here. Although, if our little Cranky's going to live over here, he probably doesn't want some campsite all up in his business. I don't think it's going to fit back there anyway. I was kind of thinking maybe we could put it on the beach back there.
But the other thing is, we don't have to place any of these today, to be honest. <laughs> we got time. We got time to consider. Um, I have never had my campsite on the beach before though, so I kind of think it would be cool to have a beach campsite. So we'll have to look around. Oh nice, high tops. What color are they? Oh, beige. That's not very fun. <laughs> okay, well, um... Let's see, what about this little corner of the beach? This is a pretty good size. And it's close to resident services. Seems like... Seems like that would be a good place for a campsite, maybe? Okay, that's one possibility. Another possibility is that we could put it up here. Kind of on this little corner here. Although I was kind of thinking of having a villager house there. I don't know, man. I don't know where to put this stuff. <laughs> um, there's a little bit of room here. We could have it here, like, next to the river. That's kind of a cool spot. And then have, like, a little, kind of its own little area back here. Let's grab these cherries. Oh my goodness, how are the pockets full again? Because I picked up seashells. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go put some stuff away. Okay, I put some stuff away. Now we can pick these cherries up. Let's get them out of the way. And then we'll see what, what we think of the campsite right here. Because, like, I don't know. I The idea is definitely growing on me here. So I want to see, like, right here, which one of these is campsite. Wait, that's not... I want it one space further back. Yeah, I think we could put it right there. Let me imagine it. If we had it right here, next to the river, so it's had the water source, we could definitely fill in some trees around it, do something fun up on the cliff next to it. And I mean, there'll probably be like a path going by on the cliff up there. But yeah, I think we could make it look really cute here. That's where I'm putting it. Everything's movable. <laughs> Everything's movable, right? With a few bells. Okay, we've got that one decided. Now we need a spot for Abel's. And her. I'm thinking. Let's see. We put it right here. We've already got definitely some stuff to move here. Like that, I probably the museum is what I'm gonna move. I may actually leave nooks right here. Ooh, butterfly. I think that'll be our third one. We, we'll be able to get a model of this one next time. Well, I say next time. Flick hasn't come here yet, so there is not a next time. The first time Flick shows up on Larkshire, we're gonna be like, dude, give us a model. Because we got butterflies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like I want to put it right here. It's little. Let's see, that leaves two spaces in between for a path. Should we move it back just a little bit so it has a tiny bit of front front area there? Yeah, there we go. Let's put it right here for now. I think. <laughs> I really wish it would let you like back up and look at this from more of a distance. Actually, I think 
Maybe we're gonna go back to the original. Let me imagine it. Yeah, you know what? I like it right there. I like it right there. If we imagine that the museum is not right there, I, th I think that's gonna be good. There we go. <laughs> that's where it's going for now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think the museum is the only thing we're probably gonna move over here. At least that's what I think today. That could change. <laughs> that could totally change. Um, so one more option for the orchard, you guys, that I kind of thought of and then forgot and then just remembered again, is that we could put it back here with the cranky and just have a tiny little orchard, like one one tree of each fruit, and have our cranky villager. Why did I grab the ladder? And have our cranky villager be like the keeper of the orchard or something. Do we think they want to take care of an orchard? Oh, we could even put it like partially up on the hill and partially down with our house. But I don't know. Maybe our cranky doesn't want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> so many options. We just got to think about it some. We, we have time. We have time to think on it. Let's see what Pajmina's up to. Oh, she's crafting. What are you making? Got a groove going now. What you doing? A wooden table mirror. Well, that's not as exciting as I was hoping for, Pashmina, but we'll take it. Let's do it. We don't have it yet. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, wait. We got it. We got a clam for you. Here you go. Um. Nice. Okay, another striped shirt. Hopefully it's not yellow like the last one. Let's check it out. Oh, we got more Nook Miles. Oh, cool. It's the purple one. That's my favorite. I'm tempted to keep it on, but it doesn't look warm enough for outside right now. <laughs> Let's see what Nook Miles we just got. True friends. Aw, we just made a bestie. Pashmina. <laughs> How fun. Oh, I see Kiki back there too. We'll go talk to her. I think I just saw another fossil over here. Yep, they're hiding. They're hiding today. Alright, let's go talk to Kiki. Hello, little friends. So happy to see you. What's the latest? Look at her little veggie bags. She's so cute. The sky might be a bit overcast just now, but it's still sunny in my heart. Aww. <laughs> That's so fun. How can I help you, kitty cat? Here's a gift. We want you to have this giant clam. Stand mixer. Okay. We'll take it. Thank you. Oh, we've got some uh, snowballs here too. I'm not going to brag about it today. <laughs> I know what happened last time. Might as well make this dude right now though. I don't really think we're going to be using any of the ice recipes but it's still good to get them. Plus it's fun just seeing snowmen around or, you know, we'll just kick that into a tree. <laughs> okay, let's run over to Harv's Island and, um, and then we'll come back and maybe possibly remember to build a snowman. I gotta pick up all this wood I chopped too. Oh, that's where we needed to go. Okay. Oh, for some reason I thought Harv was going to have his doodad open. 
Welcome back to Harv's. Oh, maybe that doesn't happen until K.K. Slider comes, probably. Is it technically an archipelago? A Harvapelago? <laughs> the studio's open now. We're gonna use it. Just go down to the basement again. Nice neutral background. Okay, there they are. <laughs> now I just gotta give them uh, some emotions. They all look so cute! <laughs> okay. Well, we got, we got our photo taken anyway. Nook Miles. Well, that covers all the important business for Wednesday. We'll hop over to Thursday now. We're back, and it's Thursday. <laughs> and I didn't actually mean to be recording this late, but since we are, we have a nice clear sky. We might as well keep an eye out for some shooting stars. Maybe we'll get some today. Uh, we'll be listening for those. And guys, I think I, I, think I said Wednesday on the previous... Um, day recording but I believe it was actually Tuesday that I recorded that. So we are two days later which means as you may have guessed that our very first campsite villager is here in the campsite. So we're gonna check that out in a few minutes but first uh, we did get to go make a little fun run today over to the island of Nana A of Nana A's gaming uh, her island of purple mist she invited some of us over to catalog some items which was super fun she had a ton of stuff um, I was a little picky about what we um, cataloged I didn't just catalog everything which I could have but you know I, I still like uh, getting new stuff once in a while so we didn't catalog everything but we got a few important things you know like the Nordic socks and Spangle shorts and <laughs> the hamster cage and stuff like that, you know, stuff you can't live without. So um, we, did, <laughs> we did get a few useful things too, don't worry. So we'll probably be ordering some items in the next few days thanks to the help of Nana A. And her channel will be linked in the description as well because you got to check it out. She's working on a fairy themed island called Purple Mist. And anything with purple and fairies has to be good, right? Okay. Now, also, while we're talking about Nana A, she brought us this lovely fruit the other day. And we've been totally slack and just carrying it around in our pockets. So we need to get some of that planted today so that we can get the last of our fruit growing on this island. Got some fossils to pick up. We have Sahara today. And guess what? So did Nana. So we actually have a pocket full of rugs I haven't even looked at yet. Ringside seating. So we've got some tickets here. We've got a highway floor, a straw wall. Probably sell some of those because um, I don't think we're going to be using a highway floor over here. But you just never know what you're going to get when you talk to her. So we will talk to her over here too. But I know you guys are dying to know who's in the campsite and well... I don't know that I'm dying to know, but we gotta find out because they're gonna be moving here. It's our first smug villager. Oh, we got all this stuff we gotta sell too. Haven't even been in the shop today. It's been a mess, <laughs> as usual, but that's okay. All right, so uh, Abel's is here too. Check it out. We're right here where we placed it. We just gotta get this museum moved now at some point, but let's see what's in here today. That door's a little less scary to walk through when it's brand new on the island. So, uh, they've put down roots here on Larkshire, and they'll be selling us clothes and accessories. Oh, we can get custom designs now. Yay, 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 yay. That means we can start putting some paths and stuff in, even if... Um, 
even if we can't lay them with our little tool, you know, the terraforming tool yet, we can still put them down manually. So we will check that out for sure. Okay, they're open from 9 to 9. I, we definitely want these purple shades. We'll take it. Okay, that'll go straight in our pocket. Let's see what you have. Um, we actually did uh, catalog one of these patchwork, patchwork coats over at Nana Ace Island today. Oh my goodness, the explanations, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, I love the little argyles. Okay, we'll get one of those. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have? I don't know which color of the patchwork coat we got, so we'll have to check on that. Um, I'm not gonna buy up too much stuff. None of those are anything I want right now. Let's see, oh, I do love the little palm hats. Let's get one of those. We got the sunglasses already. We'll grab some black leggings do we already have black leggings we might we might have to check on that before we buy any of those and then shoes what do you got for shoes mm. we have these in the tan color maybe we'll get them in some gray those are cute right and they go with our little argyle vest we might just wear this out of the shop guys was there one of these hats that kind of goes better with this should we get the black no i like this one all right we're going with that Cool. I hate to change out of our really cool Nook Ink sweater, but we'll go with this for now. <laughs> By the way, there's still time to vote for who wore it best, speaking of the Nook Ink sweater. Let's go ahead and talk to Sable. She can't talk. And we're gonna see if this is hooked up. You can download custom designs all over the world. Yay, hooray. Um, we're not going to do it right now, but we know that we can now, so that's great. Um, probably the first thing I'm going to pull up is, um, the custom patterns that I've made myself from my other islands, <laughs> because I do like to use those when possible. I think I, I think I've come up with some good ones. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, take a look at them. It's been a while since I've... Uh, looked at any of them Probably I don't think we made too many of our own custom patterns on the rags to riches island, but I did make several when I played hard mode and I did uh, I have made several on my forever island um, Oh our pockets are full And there's nothing we can oh we, we can drop these uh, What are they fossils we'll drop them right here Oh, and guys, <laughs> I have one potato. <laughs> I have one potato. Nana A had these nice little stacks of 10 veggies that you could take for free. And I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I needed 10 potatoes. So I just took one. She's probably wondering what in the world <laughs> if she saw that there was only nine left in the stack. All right, cardboard chair. We're gonna have to empty our pockets anyway before we uh, talk to Sahara too. But all right, let me let me stop dilly dallying here. We'll, we'll be back, Sahara. We gotta go. Aw, look at them. They're so cute. I think this gets them brownie points for Villager of the Week. Look at how cute they are. You guys having a little camp talk <laughs> here in the plaza? Too adorable. Okay. Let's go put these rugs away. Except for the ones we're going to sell. Oh, we got a diner chair too. Yes. And an alarm clock. The alarm clock was from her nook shop, I think. Uh, so we'll keep the wavy rug. Don't need ringside seating. We'll keep the yellow kitchen mat. We'll keep the rhinestone shades we'll keep the uh well i guess we'll put the potato we'll go plant it somewhere do i need a straw wall i don't even know what that looks like oh we'll keep the straw wall for now until i see what it looks like here's lucky over here what are you doing today oh he's sitting by the river can you guess what i'm doing uh sitting by the river <laughs> i'm sitting yay we got it half right <laughs> okay See you, Lucky. We're trying to get over to the campsite, friend. 
we're we're taking our sweet time and we shouldn't be because we need to just go we need to just go do this find out who it is find out who it is all right we got some room now okay all right guys Whew, i'm a little bit nervous this is always a nerve-wracking moment but there's no use dragging it out. It's not going to be any better if we wait. <laughs> oh no. Hans. <laughs> Hans. Ah, okay, fine. Yeah, I'm really going to enjoy having you here until the very moment that you ask to leave, hopefully first of anyone. Okay, Groovy, I've gotten really used to the Larkshire life. I doubt it. I don't even want to go home, and I have 353 thread count sheets on my bed there. That's TMI, dude. All right. Um, you should live here. For as short a time as possible. Um, yeah, we'll go check with people. Hans, ugh. I guess it's not the worst thing that could have happened. Okay, well, that was disappointing. <laughs> but you know, isn't it kind of always, almost always? Guys, my very first campsite villager on my very first Forever Island was Eugene. And I thought he was so cool. <laughs> and now I get Hans. Fine. So we gotta talk to Tom Nook. Oh yes, our home now has another room. I totally forgot. How much do we owe? <laughs> 348,000, okay. Okay, Tom. There's somebody in the campsite. They want to make sure they can move here. Isabel mentioned, yes, she did mention it. That's how we knew to go and check. First guest. Yeah, you're not gonna believe it. It's like a yeti or something. I didn't do any convincing. They convinced themselves. You'll need a housing kit to set aside a plot for their home, so I'll give you that now. Thank you. Well, there is one thing about it, I guess. We've never had haunts before, so we get another villager that we've never had before. <laughs> if, uh, if we have to look at the bright side. Let's see what's happening in here today. Oh, we have like lots of Nook Miles. We should buy things. We should get our Nook Miles ticket of the day, which I've totally been forgetting to do. So this is actually probably the first one we've done. I, I mean to buy one every day. I just don't remember. Yes, we need other things like pocket space for one. That's 8,000, wow. Okay, all right, we have 9,000 left. What else do we want? Is there um, fence recipes in, in there yet? This totally makes sense. Yay, more pocket space. Corrugated iron fence. Oh, country fence. We absolutely need country fence. I, I guess we better buy the online portal. Oh, maybe it doesn't even come available in here until you open up Abel's. So we'll make sure we buy that. Because we definitely want to be able to get the patterns. Yeah. And it's only 300. That's not bad at all. And we gotta celebrate about it. <laughs> oh, from my app we can do it. Okay. Nice. Well, that'll be handy. We won't have to go into Ables to do it. So it was available in Ables. It just wasn't available on our phone yet. Okay, that makes sense. All right, we still have 8,000. Should we spend them or should we save them? Custom design... Pro Editor, Custom Designs, Patterns Plus. Did you guys know, do you ever pay attention to these little buttons down at the bottom? If you press X, it will give you details about what you're getting. This will let you use pre-made patterns, comes with 20 patterns to try. This one adds professional design features to the customer's Custom Designs app. This one lets you use accent walls and ceiling fixtures. We definitely like that. Okay, I say we get those three. Okay, so we got those three and then I opened this other one, which I'm not, I'm not going to get yet. Okay, we can get some more reactions for 2700. That'll use up almost all the rest of our Nook Miles, but I think we're actually going to wait on that. 
we're gonna wait on that one. We'll get some new reactions maybe next time we have some miles saved up. I want to make sure we have enough to buy our ticket tomorrow. So that will be fun now that we have walls. Speaking of walls, ooh, we should we should do this. Let's get our rugs. We get double rugs today. Okay, we <laughs> we finally got through all that. Okay, um, let's see what we ended up with. That was from, those were from the other Sahara. Ooh, we got the purple shaggy rug. That is one of my favorite, 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 favorite rugs. Okay, simple medium brown mat. We'll keep that. We'll probably keep the sky wall. I think there was one more floor I didn't look at, but we have to put our rug down. Oh yes, accent walls, ceilings. <laughs> okay, we can do that now, okay. Let's, um, whoops, let's look in our pockets. And what was this other floor we got? Dirt floor, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, sky wall, we wanted this one. Yeah, the purple shaggy rug, so awesome, nice. All right, I guess we need to like move this stuff now that um, we have a doorway back here. We're gonna have to start actually decorating this place. Um, but oh, look at that rug. Don't you just want this rug in real life? Oh, Pashmina, our very first home visitor. <laughs> I'm not sure if that is a point in her favor or against her for villager of the week. <laughs> what do you think? All right, Pashmina, come in. Look at our brand new rug. It's so soft and fluffy and pretty. Check it out. Look at our little dragon over here. Nice Zodiac dragon figurine. I didn't know you were into this sort of thing. Oh yeah, we love collecting these. I just love the style. Just makes me want to stretch out and relax, you know? No, that's what this rug does. Like, don't you just want to lay right down on it? It's the best rug ever. <laughs> Whoa, I totally lost track of time. Guess I should take off soon. That is the best kind of visitor, man. Your home is pretty rad. It's getting there. It's getting there, Pashmina. We're doing our best. Let's see what we got in the back here. Our brand new room. What can we do with this? Might as well change out the floor and wall. I think we have a few to choose from. Let's see what we have. Oh, there's that straw wall. Yeah, I probably won't keep that one. We did get this cute little yellow quilt wall from Timmy. Um, <laughs> we have the nice red tea room wall. We have, I think we'll put that one up. That feels kind of foresty in here, doesn't it? We're going to have a foresty vibe here. Do we want this floor? Oh, whoops. Um, X was what I meant to do. Mm, no, I don't like that in here. I think we like this one. This room's going to be a little fancier. Maybe we'll put the uh, purple rug on the bed back here. What other rugs did we have? Just those. We need to put the rest of these in the storage so we can see them. Uh, we're not keeping that one. We'll keep this one. Keep the ticket. Dungeon wall. Probably not going to keep that one either. Not any needing of dungeon dungeon walls in here. Oh, no, we're not keeping that one. And I don't think we need a dirt floor either. But it's cataloged, so there you go. Um, yeah. Yep. Already loving this room, even with just this in here. Let's see what those rugs look like. Oops. Oh, a small brown mat and a medium brown mat. Wow, that's, that's some serious... Uh, variety in the choices today Sahara at least we got this awesome purple rug I love this rug so much okay so we'll probably do a little bit of rearranging in here but maybe not today because we have to find a spot for Hans Ugh. guys okay let's yeah he's not as bad as I don't know say Ursula or somebody but you know what <laughs> I was holding out a tiny sliver of hope for Raymond. 
Last time I did the big spring cleaning, I cleared out the closet and found a whole pile of plushes I forgot about. Okay, good for you. Good for- Oh, Goose sent us a gift. Did you really add a new room to your place? That's awesome. That's a point for Goose, guys. He's been really knocking it out of the park here. Well, we'll see what he sent us first. <laughs> We've completed the expansion of your lovely home, but we had to, oh, put your wall hanging away. That's fine. Happy Home Academy sent us something. We got our hand cart and Gullivar sent us something. So let's see what all that is. This should be the one from Goose. A bidet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that's a point down. <laughs> A shower set. Okay, well, they, they're getting us ready for a bathroom. We got our hand cart and pirate pants. Okay, well, that's cool. What did we just learn? Is that the country fence? Yay, country fence. We're gonna make some of that for sure. Not today, though. <laughs> we'll do, we're gonna do some decorating soon, guys. We, I think we're about to the point where we've got enough uh, under control here. There's no more new buildings coming in at the moment. There's, um, you know, no new shops, no new... We should just have a couple of calm days, which will be nice. Alright, let's put some of this away again. Put our Nook Miles ticket away. Pirate pants. <laughs> I don't know, we'll just put that in the storage for now. Yeah, we'll get all that stuff out later. Okay, so um, there were several places that we talked about putting houses in the back of the island. So I think we will go and scope those out and go ahead and put Hans's house in one of those places because, um, you know, we're, we got to start filling them in either way, no matter who lives there. So I'm not just putting Hans at the very, very back of the island because he's Hans. <laughs> uh, we were already planning on putting a house back there, so... That's what we're gonna do. Oh, that guy wasn't perfect. Was there a perfect one over here? I thought we had one in front of Kiki's house. Oh, we need to give these pants to Kiki. She won them fair and square in the Who Wore It Best last week. But we couldn't give her gifts yet, so hopefully we can give her gifts now and give them to her to wear. What are you making, friend? Classic library wall. Well, that is very kiki, isn't it? She is a reader. Uh, do we want to learn how to make our own? Sure. Thanks. We have something for you too, kiki. It's a little outfit that looks apparently more adorable on you than anyone else. Look at how happy she is. Too bad we can't see her. <laughs> I love how I feel right now. Please take my diner counter chair. That's awesome. Thank you, Kiki. Alright, let's look. Look at her. All oh, so cute. We can't even see you, Kiki. She is working hard on that, whatever it is. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> okay, bye, Kiki. Okay, I wonder what color this is. Let's just put it next to this mixer she gave us and find out. Black. Okay, that works. I don't know what kind of furniture we're going to need anywhere yet, so... Let's see. This is going to be where we put the stairs in. So we want to put it, like, in this area. Um, we'll probably try to dig up a couple of these cedar trees so we don't lose them. I don't mind losing the other trees, but we're going to need all of our cedar trees. And guys, I may have changed my mind just a little bit. Because I know I said that... Uh, Admiral was my first choice for Cranky Villager, but the more I think about it, the more I think that probably Grizzly is going to be my first choice. Okay, do we... we need to think about this a second. He's going to be our little Cranky. Okay, so this 
would be even with this one space to the side there and that and two spaces to the side there and this space is not an even number so that should work okay if that didn't make any sense to you I'm sorry I <laughs> I'm just counting things it's yeah it's just me don't worry <laughs> okay is this a good spot yes it is I haven't seen any stars yet or heard any stars yet so if if we do have them today it's a slow one I feel like you usually get stars within the first few days of your island but um, since I was only playing while I was recording we may have missed the very first shower but also that may not be true because each island has its own weather pattern which we will probably try to figure out using Meteo Nook. Um, let's see, if the house is going to go right there... Do, 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 where do we want a tree? Although, yeah, because so, okay, so the reason I'm saying Grizzly is because... I, I mentioned earlier that maybe we could just have a tiny little orchard back here with our cranky in charge of it and I don't know I can just I can just see Grizzly like being in charge of an, a little orchard don't you guys see that I can, I can see it very clearly <laughs> uh, but yeah I think that would be fun I think Grizzly would love being in charge of a little bitty orchard We're just going to put one of these trees right here for now. Wait, is that a good idea? No, it's not. It's going to be blocking something. We're just going to set it back here. Because uh, we can always move these later. I just didn't want to lose the trees. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And if we have pocket space, which look at all our pocket space now. I say as most of it is still filled up anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're full pockets now. Full 40 spaces. We can pick up our seashells and then go sell some things. Alright, so was that all of our new stuff? We got Abel's, we checked that out. We got our campsite, we checked that out. And I'm, I'm moving something up, guys. I have been putting the Villager of the Week poll up on the community tab on the channel on Sunday but I think that um, from now on I'm just gonna put it up when I put this episode up so that you guys can vote like while you're thinking about it <laughs> can you tell how shy I feel right now sometimes if you're feeling shy shyness can show it I mean if you want it to <laughs> uh, lucky give us another Reaction. Shyness. So cute. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so Hans has a spot. Do we have to talk to Tom Nook again? Or can we just go talk to Hans? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's a little bit of local flavor for you. It means, what's up, Groovy? No, it isn't. Um, okay. Yep. Your own house. Hasta la vista. I mean, I guess, really, he fits for a snowy forest. We'll just have to try to encourage him to uh, explore his options in the great wide world um, before spring gets here or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm probably being really mean. Okay, we got all the seashells. We're gonna sell some stuff. And check out what's in here today. Which, did we already get? We've already gotten the cactus, right? And I think uh, 
Kiki has given us a board game, so we don't need that. Uh, oh, don't sell your potato. <laughs> oh, we need to learn that classic library wall. And we don't need the dungeon wall. Alright, what do you got for us? 7,795? Nice. Okay, and what is this hose reel? We already have one of those too. Actually, we have a couple of those because one of the villagers gave us one. I think it was Lucky. Gave us one this week. Ooh, we should buy a... We should buy? We should buy a blue balloon. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Let's see. Mums, pansies, and roses. I guess that's all we ever have in our shop, isn't it? What do, do we want any of these? Oh, I like the... I like the tea room walls. I usually end up using at least one of those in my houses when I do them. And I don't know if we got the rosewood flooring yet, but I really like that one too. So we're gonna grab those. Thanks guys. Okay, uh, what? I can, yeah, I'm gonna have to sell the rest of that stuff at some point, too. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna double balloon over here. There you go, you get two balloons, Goose, for your last couple days. Oh, should we see if we have, uh, we should see if we can buy a bridge. Alright, before we do that, we're going to, um, plant a couple of these fruit trees over here, too. Just to get them growing. Um, and I'm just going to plant one of each until we see what uh, what we're going to do with them. Until we figure that out. We'll just grab this shell. Alright, let's go see if we can make a bridge. And what bridge do we want? What bridge do we want? That's such a hard decision. I don't think we want the stone bridge. We might have to look. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough choice. Because we don't have anything yet. We don't even know what we're trying to match. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tarantula. Okay, we have to, we have to be careful here. Because if we pull out our net too close to him, he's gonna get us. <laughs> Alright, where'd you go, little dude? Don't come get me. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Where did he go? Where is it? Hajmina, be careful. There's an arachnid somewhere, maybe. Is it still over here? Did it go away? All right, I'm, I'm putting the net away because I don't wanna get bit. <laughs> Oh, I think it disappeared. Okay, well, that's too bad. That would have been a nice catch. Okay, let's just take one more look. Look at these guys. Adorable. Wait, do we have any Nook Miles goals? I was gonna say for taking a photo, but we don't. Oh, but we did get some for planting our other fruit trees. We have all the fruit now. Yay. Okay, what were we doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> we're supposed to be going in here anyway. Tom Nook. What now? Did you find a place for us to build a new home? Yes, I did. Fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting. So I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. You do that. Okay, so he's going to let us... Um, place the rest of the plots whenever we want, which is cool. Um, we need to talk infrastructure, Tom Nook. We need a bridge. Let's build a bridge. Okay, here's the big decision. I do not want the log bridge. I, do, uh, I don't really think I want the suspension bridge. All right, we're thinking about this as going, like, this is going to be across to the little cranky person's house. I don't want the stone bridge. I do like this one. 
Definitely not going for brick or iron. I think the Zen Bridge is like a little bit much, maybe? I don't know. We can always change it out later. If we're gonna be changing it out later, I'd rather get one that costs a little less. You know, I have been trying to do some things that I don't normally do on this island. So we're gonna go with the suspension bridge because it's not the one I would normally pick. Let's do it. And how much money do we have? We have, oh, how much was it gonna be? 129,000? Do we have enough? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. So if we need 129,000, we need like another 50,000. No. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know how I calculated that so wrong. We're, all right, we're just gonna take another 9,000. So it doesn't leave us with nothing. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and <laughs> take these shades off too since it's like nighttime. Hey, look at that, we can see. <laughs> okay, um, and yeah, we do have this pile of stuff that we can sell too, so we don't have to um, be too worried about spe uh, spending all of that. All right, I guess we wanna just put it straight across here. Where is it? There it is. Build here. Oh, is that, um, it's not gonna go any further to the right, is it? Let's just try it. Oh, it is. I think I want it like right on the edge. Yeah, let's imagine it. Nice, perfect. Exactamundo. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm excited. We've got a bridge. Let the land connect. Oh, Tom Nook has to call us about this too. <laughs> Hello, Kara Lee. Tom Nook here. Did you find a good spot for the suspension bridge? I found a great spot. Wonderful. Now as part of the kit you set up, Lloyd will stay and collect donations for the construction fees. Island residents can contribute little by little, and they he does mean little. Once we reach our goal, construction will begin. Of course, you can feel free to make whatever hefty donations you want, Carolee. If you don't make any hefty donations, our goal might never become a reality. Anywho, <laughs> donations should go to Lloyd. Yeah, talk to you soon, Tom Nook. We know the drill. Although we did have one um, staircase on, on our last island that had quite a chunk taken out of it because we left it for so long. Let's see, our goal is 129,800. I will help. Because I want that bridge in there tomorrow. Donate. Next step, project completion. Every single time I read that, it makes me think of the little Einsteins. Um, I used to keep my niece when she was little and she loved that show and every time they got done with one of their little adventures they would say mission completion so every time he says project completion i just think of the little einsteins <laughs> so yeah fun little nugget of useless information there for you hey guys we're back here on friday and i know this episode is going over an hour now and i appreciate you so much if you're still here watching there are just some island firsts today that i don't want you guys to miss with me so uh first of all <laughs> of the firsts uh pashmina is thinking here she's in a jam she finally got the let out and started cleaning her pad there's so much stuff she doesn't need okay so she's not trying to leave us uh, she's just got four things that she feels weird about throwing out, so let's see what they are. Some star shades. I think we'll we'll see what else she's got. A jester's cap. Yeah, keep keep going. <laughs> um, a rain hat. I think I would let that jester cap go. By the way, a rain hat. Let's just see what the last thing is. Alpinist overalls. Yeah, totally worth the wait. Sold. <laughs> Thank you, Pashmina. Enjoy those bells. Thanks for saving me a trip to the junk shop. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so we do have um, some firsts here on the island. It's going to take me just a second to get there. 
but I'm super excited. We have to climb. <laughs> we have to climb. And there it is. Our very first dropped item on Larkshire. So we're gonna pick this up. We should probably try to reunite it with its owner. Yes, we should. Let's see if it gives us any clue. Investigate. Someone lost this. Okay, so it most likely belongs to one of our newer villagers then, and not our bestie, Pashmina. So we will ask around um, on that. The second... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I, I wrote a list <laughs> so I wouldn't forget anything. The second is our first hybrid flower on Larkshire. We got a little orange pansy here from these two little buddies. And um, I was just running around shaking the trees this morning and I was like, whoa, we got a hybrid. So that's super exciting. Our very first hybrid flower. We should probably put it somewhere special. We'll have to think about where that should be. And then, yeah, here's our first Hans. I guess we'll go in and say hi. Now that he's moved in, he lives on a ski slope, apparently. Hello. Yo, Kara Lee, thanks again for inviting me here. Yep, thanks to you, I made my big Larkshire debut today. I think I'm going to be a big star here, but first I've got some unpacking to do, so I'll see you around. All right, big dreams, buddy, big dreams there. All right, well, that is also the first house that is probably in one of the permanent house locations. So <laughs> that's cool. And his house isn't too bad. It, it fits the vibe here, I think. We might try to put um, some fence around it at some point. We, we got to do so, definitely some decorating at some point. Okay, so our next item is over here. And it's not actually a first. It's just, you know, our bottle on the beach. But I like to share that with you guys too. So <laughs> in case it's a new recipe, it could be something new. Like open wooden shelves. Did we already get that one? We did. We got that one early. Um, so we'll be able to share this one with somebody. And look, guys, our new bridge, our suspension bridge is in. So exciting. We can just run across here. No more pole vaulting. Lucky, how you doing, buddy? Yay, are you out for a walk? Did you drop this? We gotta find the owner of this little book. It's my diary! I thought I'd lost it! Oh man, oh man, oh man! I've been looking everywhere for this! Let me give you a reward! Thanks, Lucky! There you go! It's a baseball uniform! <laughs> okay. Thank you. We appreciate it. Okay, let's stop in and say hi to Goose real quick before we show you the last first. Goose! Friend! You're here! Make yourself at home! What's the latest? You liking my wooden table? I'm not working out. Sometimes I'll sit there and read. It uh, doesn't get used much. How do you sit there and read, dude? Do you sit on the table? Because I don't see any chairs over there. But you do have a book in your hand and I see a barbell in it. So it must be a fitness book. All right. Well, you enjoy that. We'll, we'll catch you later. Just a reminder of what... Goose's qualifications are for <laughs> Villager of the Week this week. These are the outfits that he gave us. And he also gave us a portable radio. And he also gave us this. So we can sneeze now. <laughs> uh, okay, Pajmina qualifications. She gave us these two lovely tops. She's our first best friend on the island. She gave us this reaction this week. And she was the first visitor in our house when we were hanging out at home. So that was fun. There's Mary. Hi, Mary. Let's talk. This is the time of day when I get the sleepiest. Okay, Mary, um, she doesn't really have any qualifications besides her cuteness for this week because uh, we haven't been able to gift her yet and she hasn't she hasn't given us any um, reactions yet or anything. So these are the items that Lucky gave us this week. This fabulous coat and the little garden hose reel. And he also gave us this reaction. 
so we can be shy now. <laughs> uh, like I said, Mary, um, Mary's not kind of in the pool yet, unless you just love her. <laughs> or actually, we can only put four villagers in the vote, so I guess we'll leave Mary out again this week, since she hasn't got the qualifications. So these are our items from Kiki this week, the stand mixer and the little diner stool. And I don't think Kiki gave us any, yeah, no reactions from Kiki. So that is everyone, just a reminder of everyone's uh, contributions this week for voting purposes. And I will have that vote up. It should already be up if you're watching this. Now, oh, now for our last first for Friday, our Friday last first. <laughs> this isn't making any sense, is it? Anyway, let's jump back over here to resident services. Oh, here it is. I'm getting lost on my own island. Leaf is here, guys. Our first visit from Leaf. I'm so excited and I really, 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 really hope he has hyacinth seeds. <laughs> Leaf, friend. Hey, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Carolee. Did you say Carolee? What a happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. I heard that my good pal Timmy moved out here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes in weeds. Oh, have we got some weeds for you, friend. But the island itself is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like with whatever plants you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds, shrubs, and produce starts I brought will be featured in your masterpiece. Of course. Meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, Carolee. You're going to see me again right now, but I just saw a balloon leave, so I'll be right back. <laughs> we can't be missing balloons. We have actually been making a fair amount of bells from balloons today, which is nice. Wait, how did I miss that? There we go. <laughs> okay. What is this one? It's a blue balloon, so it could be like clay or something. Oh, iceberg flooring. Nice. Didn't have that one yet. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Back to Leaf. Oh, hello. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? I sure hope it is. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. I'm here to shop. I'll bring you the weeds later. I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and starts I've got with me today. He should have some crops for us, too. <gasps> Tomatoes! Yeah, we'll definitely buy some of those. Uh, yep, we'll probably take five of those. Oh, he's got some cute bushes. Camellias and azaleas. I love the azaleas. We'll probably buy a few azalea bushes. We'll buy a few of the... Uh, these are called white, right? Even though they look pink. Right now the camellia is in season, so it's a perfect time to plant some. White azalea starts. Yeah, we'll take five. Should we get some camellias? Maybe we'll get some of those too. We'll get some red ones. I'll probably get ten. I think the red flowers look nice against the snow. Okay, he's got lilies and cosmos. Okay, no hyacinths. That's all right. We'll get some cosmos because we want to plant cosmos in the neighborhood. So let's get five of each and then we can start working on some hybrids. Okay, so we got five of each of the colors of cosmos. We'll have to find a place to plant those. We got to catch this butterfly while it's flying around here. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, we did say that we wanted to... Oh, no. Oh, I can't swap here, can I? Nope. Bye, little butterfly. Okay. Uh, we did say that we wanted to plant cosmos in the neighborhood because um, the meaning behind cosmos, I believe, was harmony. Yes, cosmos flowers represent balance and harmony. And also in the Victorian era, we get a little lesson here. In the Victorian era, they symbolized joy in love and in life. So that's perfect for our neighborhood. So our neighbors are all going to be joyful and get along well. <laughs> Even Hans. Okay, guys, we're going to call it done for today. And I flew all the way over here to Harv's Island for our outro because I noticed this little swirly thing the other day. And I just love little details like that in the game. So I thought we need to go stand by the swirly thing <laughs> and do our outro today. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I really appreciate you watching. 
please take a moment to click that like button and I would love it if you left me a comment. And if you enjoy Animal Crossing in all its forms, do be sure to hit subscribe so you can join us for the next one or maybe in one of our more nostalgic series. Would love to see you there. Have a beautiful day, everyone.